recording your screen with Microsoft Stream. Firstly, ensure that you're logged into office.com with your Microsoft 365 credentials. And then you can always search for stream by entering the word stream in the search bar. You'll see the app here, select it. Now, if you already have the URL, you can go directly to it. Just ensure that you're logged in. Select create and then record screen or video. You'll be prompted to allow access to your microphone and camera, which I'll do that. Once you have done that, you won't need to do that again. It will be recorded. The disclaimer agreement, just to make sure that you're aware that you, the organization policy around recording screens. You can go ahead and select the, cap, the microphone that you'll be utilizing, the camera that you'll be using. Now the screen and camera combination option is there as well as screen only or camera only. In this case, I'll be doing screen only. Now, once I start the recording, I cannot change it unless I'm gonna start a new recording. So I'll go ahead and record now. I'm presented with three options, whether I'm doing the entire window or entire screen, my apologies, the window or the Microsoft Edge tab. So I'll go to screen and I'll select screen one. In addition to that, sharing your system audio. If there are sounds or audio file that you're playing from the laptop or PC, you can enable it so that it will be captured in the recording. Now go ahead and share. Now, as you can see, it's recording the screen and I can do a bunch of other things. Maximum time is 15 minutes. You can always pause the recording and continue by resuming. Once you're finished, you can go and select next. You have the opportunity of trimming the recording as needed, going back and actually deleting the file and starting over, I'll cancel, or straight to upload to stream. You have the opportunity to save the file to your local machine. You can save it as a draft to stream to get back to it at another time, or you can go straight ahead and publish it. But I'll just go back. I'll delete, and then I'm back at the main screen to start all over again. I hope this was informative for you.